Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And today's question comes to us from Mr. Rust, who, inspired by tales of Bonnie and Clyde, is curious to know my thoughts on the use of criminals in fiction and how I might have incorporated them into my own work. Uh, now, the criminal element always adds a degree of spice and danger to any narrative and can be found in any genre or form of storytelling. Except really in my own stories. I didn't make much use of them, uh, apart from The Hound, where the narrator and her companion engaged in grave robbing. Uh, now, in this modern age, you might not see grave robbing as a particularly useful example of criminality, but in my day, the, the three major crimes were grave robbing, seducing wealthy widows, and founding strange religions in upstate New York. Nowadays, I suppose people think more of, of bank robbers or, or cat burglars or whatever it is those attractive gentlemen in the Fast and Furious movies get up to. But I don't know how those would quite work in my own stories. I think the perfect form of crime to match Yogg's Authority would instead be those collaborative heist stories, like, like the, the Ocean's Eleven films, or that Leverage program, or that one where the, the Muppets have formed some form of keeper or another. Yes, I can see it now. A ragtag team coming together to overcome their differences and learn to trust one another for that one last job. Before, of course, realizing that the universe is large and uncaring and no amount of riches will stave off the end. Wouldn't that be a delight to watch? Especially with that do 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 but that perhaps I I said all I need to on that matter. I hope that helps, Mr. Rust. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you. The only thing I ever steal are hearts and and silverware.